Welcome back. Severe weather season is quickly approaching, and this is the time to know where to take shelter. Meteorologist Rona Williams shows us places you can go to stay safe. With warmer weather, we find ourselves enjoying the outdoors more often. But when that tornado siren sounds and you receive that KSN Storm Track 3 alert on your cell phone, where do you go? I'd like to see shelters at as many places as possible that have vulnerabilities, which it varies by area, but if there's a lot of mobile homes or if people are outdoors a lot, that's a significant vulnerability. Dr. Craig Cece is a meteorologist working on building a user-friendly map of storm shelters across the country. He's been working to find funding while teaming up with emergency managers to get more public storm shelters built. Dr. Cece mapped out more than 1,800 shelters across the U.S. and says despite large gaps between locations, the placement of new shelters will be a challenge. It's hard to place them because you can't have them every mile. Director of Sedgwick County Emergency Management, Julie Stimson, says there are no public shelters at the county level. The reason? Not placing people in danger. We don't want people getting into their vehicles and going out into the elements of the storm. And there's no guarantee that the shelter is going to be unlocked. There's no guarantee that the shelter is going to be, um, you know, cleared out. Stimson says some cities and towns will have a designated shelter area. And I recommend folks just get to know your neighborhood, get to know your cities, to know where is that safest place for you to seek shelter. Most mobile home parks will have a safety shelter within the neighborhood and should be used if a tornado is approaching. With constant traffic through the Sunflower State, Stimson knows that severe weather may impact someone who's not from Kansas. She wants to drive home that a tornado is not the only reason to take shelter. But there's a lot of storms that have straight line winds and hail, heavy rains that are just as dangerous as tornadoes. If the wind isn't spinning, there can still be damage things and injuries and things from regular garden variety thunderstorms. It's essential to have a plan before you hit the road this spring or if your home doesn't have adequate shelter. Organize your severe weather safety plan now to know exactly where you can go, no matter where you are, to take shelter. That way, when seconds matter, you can keep you and your family safe. Now, Dr. CC's site will show you where to find the closest storm shelter, and we have that on KSN.com. He also hopes to include Spanish and pet-friendly storm shelter versions here pretty soon. Now, we should note there will be changes to the shelters on the turnpike as soon as July. As the turnpike goes to cashless tolling, the shelters at the individual toll booths will eventually go away. Those were meant for employees. There are still shelters at all six service areas along the turnpike, though. Really important story. I know when I first moved here, that was a big concern I had. Where do I go when one happens? Yeah, exactly. And I know mm -hmm. as Kansans, you know, a lot of people listening right now, you've heard the stories every year, you know mm -hmm. what to do and where to go. But I mentioned yesterday, there may be a lot of people who are just now moving to Kansas, mm -hmm. maybe from other states that typically don't see uh, any kind of severe weather.